Welcome back, everybody. This is the final episode of Green Hell. In the last episode, we didn't find the cure, and we went through the whole ending by accident. I didn't mean for that to be the ending. Today, we're going to find the cure. Now, before I just run around and try to figure this out, I feel like there might be clues throughout like our journal that could help us maybe, because I don't really want to spend like 10 hours <laughs> trying to just experimenting with different things, trying to figure out what the cure could be. So let's take a look through our journal and see if there's anything in here that could give us any kind of indication of what this could be. A few moments later. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's literally anything in here at all that, that gives us any kind of indication. I assume it's going to be either some sort of plant or some sort of animal. I don't really know what animal it would be. I think you got snails, there's frogs, there's turtles, there's birds. I mean, then you've got all the different types of mushrooms. I guess we might just have to experiment. I'm sure that there's something in the notes, but like I've been doing this weekly. So like trying to keep up with all the notes and different things, it's kind of kind of tough. I think down here, yeah, I think this is the area that like we saw uh, that we could climb down. But then we went back that way and found the actual camp and then just didn't come down this way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go here because I there's something marked down here and I want to know what it is. Oh, this is this is our original camp. Is this what the hell happened here? This is my original, this is the original camp that we came in on. Okay, so where are we? So this is where we actually came. So like right here's where we, we like landed in the beginning. Is there anything here? I can sleep. I mean, that's cool. So can we go back to like where we came in? Right here's where we, where we came up. Right there's where the boat was or whatever we came in on. Wait, what's over here? Maybe there's something back here. Yeah, I feel like there's just, there's just so much... What is this? There's a cave over here. Okay, so where are we at now? Because so here's a cave, so I guess this is going to take us back through here. Boy, there's like so much that we just haven't even seen yet. I really hope that we find some clues to, to the uh, to the cure. Yeah, I, I can't think. I'm so excited right now. I feel like we just opened... That's the village. Okay, so this just took us back around to the village. It's just another way to go to the village. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, that's okay. I was really hoping for, you know, some hints. I remember there being something about, like, whenever we found the grappling hook originally, there was something on one of those letters at the gold mine that said something about their blood is the cure. But I don't want to hunt down a small child and use <laughs> <laughs> their blood that's uncalled for and rude like, i don't know if i should just experiment or if i should go back and actually look <laughs> you jerk everything's fine so i think what we're gonna do i i want to know how what like how to get up there maybe if i go here maybe i can use the grappling gun we're gonna find out because we're gonna we, we need to search around how do i how do i get out of here there's a there's a gap somewhere i can take yeah <laughs> Eat, come on, squeeze. Like these mushrooms over here. These ones are obviously like super poisonous to us or like they give us a uh, food poisoning. So uh, let's take one of those. We'll try that one out, I guess. It's probably gonna go bad before we even get back to the to the lab spot, but that's okay. I guess we could probably take a frog too. Wait, where did it go? Poison dart frog. <coughs> yep, I knew it. Can I not? I can't put anything on it. There we go. Um, and I guess like, well, since, since we're here before we have to like run across the map to like look for things, I guess we'll go ahead and just throw like this mushroom in and this frog just to see if these are the cure because we are quite the hurt. Yeah. While we wait, let's just go ahead and go into here. Our fever and stuff's gone. That's good. I've blown through my painkillers. So insert test sample. So parrot. Did we put a parrot in before? Did I put a parrot there? I put a parrot on it. No, I didn't want to do that. You know, since we can do this as many times as we want, we might as well try everything. We could try everything in our inventory. Hey, where's that mushroom at? Mushroom. I wonder what this does. Fail. Okay. Um, frog. Okay. Well, while that's doing that, was there anything else in here like that we could maybe read? This talks about like flowers and stuff, but nothing about like. Doesn't have any other distinguishable features. I don't know, with the frog? In the nearest transport. End of report. It was the... It was the frog! It's true! Me! Ah! I found it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I found the cure! I found the cure! Well, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh, man. 
Okay, what do we got? What do we got? I really want to know how it's the frog. We think it's barbaric to give children poison, but this is how the natives build resistance to the toxin from their earliest days. So many tribes use this method that we completely missed it. I missed it. So it was, I guess, something that had to do with the, the kid's blood. So build resistance to the toxin. So like they would put poison on them like a little bit over time to build a resistance. Wow, we got so freaking lucky. I kind of still want to look at that spot before we end the game though. Like, I don't want to just leave things uncovered. I don't want the game to end, guys. I don't. Oh man, look at this beautiful place. Uh, I'll miss this game. I really will. I've had so much fun with it, but we're going to hang out. Then we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to go and we're going to go to the other spot before we end. Like I want to see if there's anything else that we could possibly look at before we leave the game for good. I really, really appreciate everybody that's been hanging out during this series. I should have done it earlier, but having like an actual discussion in my Discord, I'm not great with Discord. If anybody out there wants to like, you know, help me with in Discord, like I'm more than happy to have help because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm old. But yeah, like the next time I do a series, like the next series that I do, I'm going to actually just start from the beginning and open up a discussion. I just fail miserably at uh, things like that. Aha. Is that it? It's not giving me any kind of prompts or anything. There's something, there's something up there. There's like a tent. Have we been there before? Like, am I just dumb? So it goes through there. Obviously we can't get any way further down that way. So it doesn't look like we can get up from this side. I'm wondering if there's like maybe something over here. Like, did we search all through there? Like maybe, maybe we missed something. We'll look before we go down to the camp. Um, but for now, okay. So we're kind of in the area that we need to be in to explore. Um, I'm just looking around to see if like I missed something maybe along this wall because it kind of connects these two spots in a sense, I guess. So maybe there's something here. I guess we'll see. Take some more cocaine. Damn it. Damn it. Gosh, you scare me every freaking time, my guy. Holy crap. Why? Oh. They're so quiet. <laughs> it's just, you know, doing a Hunter Biden over here, grabbing some cocaine and get attacked by a Jaguar. Man, every time, every time I get attacked and I hear something walking, I'm just so on edge after that, man. Boy, oh, okay, so there's something here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it. I knew there would be something here. Okay. Only 50 of 60? Have we missed that many places? There are like 10 more places on the map that we've missed. Excuse me? Jerk. Okay, cool. So my intuition was correct. Ow. Oh my gosh. Pay attention. I'm so stupid. We've got plenty of water and stuff though. So like, we'll be okay. I think. Ooh, this is a cool like little cave. Haven't been in one like this before. I have a feeling this is going to take us like literally right around to that spot. Oh, what? There's a diving spot. I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's search around up here first. Oh, there's another spot over here. What? Oh my goodness. What is this over here? What is all this? Why did it get loud all of a sudden? Oh, okay. Um, so this is what it just marked on the map for us here. So it did, it brought us out kind of like next to it. So can we get up from over this side maybe? Yes, okay, so there's another map location. Okay, cool. So this is where I wanted to go anyway. Then we'll search under the water. This is so far off of what we were gonna do today. I wasn't expecting there to be so much more to this. Oh, is it this up here? It is. Oh. needs to chill. He's very upset for absolutely no reason. We're gonna need to sleep. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Uh, 
Excuse me. Well, you know, um, do I have some things? I got a couple. Let's let's get down and wash ourselves and then see if whenever we eat those, it gives us enough energy to not have to sleep on the floor. Okay, it's not really gonna help us out much. Crap. Let's look back here. Let's see if there's anything around in these areas. We're probably just gonna have to suffer and sleep on the ground. Okay, yeah, there's more stuff over here. Okay. Man, we missed so much stuff. Wow. Big stone. I don't want that. Go away. Go away. What? No, I don't want you. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Nothing in there. Another audio recorder. Dr. Smith, report number 16. I'm at Camp Delta. As per your request, I'll be recording my reports from now on. After running the first tests, I thought that I needed more samples of our special mushroom. Considering that it's only found in unusual and very specific areas, and the unique conditions it requires, I was concerned that we'd quickly use up what we have. However, I've observed that the pieces I had cut off earlier have mostly regenerated. The fungus is exceptionally durable, so for now, we're not at risk of running out of samples. There is something ominous about it. I know I'm being dramatic, but it's hard not to succumb to dark thoughts when you know how many tragedies this innocent mushroom has caused. It's just a small greenish tongue protruding from the earth, only known to a single tribe. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I got lost in thought. Uh, to summarize, I am planning to spend two more days in Camp Delta. I want to move a substantial collection of samples to Camp Omega. I'm going to send some of them with the next new transport. End of report. Hey guys, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> uh, yep. Damn it. Means I'm gonna have worms. I need to sleep, but I know I'm just gonna get more worms. It's gonna have to do it. I was really hoping to make it through this whole series without getting any more worms. There they go. Okay. Total of five freaking worms, man. Oh my goodness. This cave has just not been nice to us at all. Looks like it's just a big old tease. There's literally nothing down here. Wait, what are these? The mushroom that started it all. That's okay, so that's the mushroom he was referring to a little bit ago, but I didn't even like make that connection. So what happens whenever we eat it? Food poisoning. Cool. We're not gonna make it. No, we ain't gonna make it. I completely forgot. We're gonna have to make the ayahuasca again too. So much to do. <laughs> I'm running on empty, man. Like, <laughs> I've got, I'm so just in a bad place right now, but that's okay. We don't need to be in a good place. I've struggled to survive this long. This is kind of how he would be. Imagine just going through all of this. Like, yeah, you'd be like learn how to survive a little bit, but you would be just run down. didn't listen, did you? I, I... I don't understand. Why are you here? I told you already. I begged you to end it, but you didn't listen. You never do. Was it worth it? Did you get what you wanted? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, yes. I have the cure. I have the cure. And now I know where to find you. Then go. Yes. What are you waiting for? Yes. Yes, let's go. Let's go get Mia. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited.
Tower, come in. This is Jake Higgins. I got it. I got what everybody's been looking for. Did I... Did I hear you correctly? Say again, over. Yes. Yes, you heard me right. I have the cure. Uh, a, a cure? Oh my god, are you certain? I'll send somebody right away. Do you know how hard it is to give permission these days? Christ. I, is this really over? Just... hurry. I wanted to say goodbye to you. You think I'm still waiting for you? I have to believe that. I mean, I'm only alive because of you. You know, you could always come back to me. I really hope that this won't be necessary. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Don't tell don't tell me. Did she No. I don't know what to I don't know what to pick. I don't want to pick either of them. Thank you. Goodbye, mi amor. No. So like, did she, did she die? Like, what, did she die before? And like, we're hallucinating and like, all of these like, oh my gosh. So my, my, my theory is that, obviously we went to the jungle to find the actual cure. I wonder if the pain of losing Mia after all of the stuff that we did to help her survive and then what impact that had on humanity like Mia was kind of like our guardian angel like kind of like leading us through or talking to us through this whole thing like I assume that she's I assume that she is dead and that she's the only thing that kept us going through this to find the cure so I don't think that Mia was ever actually alive from the beginning of the game but she was just there to help us reach the end goal of finding the cure and saving humanity I didn't like this game blew my mind. Like, yeah, it's a survival type game, but the story was so good. Like, I mean, it there's some there's some stuff in it that could use some better explanation, but I really think that the game as a whole was really, really, really good. But yeah, um, so that's it. That's that's the end of Green Hell. Um, if you guys wanted to see more, there are two other modes in the game. There is the um, Spirits of the Amazonia game mode. And then there is the just survival game mode. Experience what happened before the events shown in story mode. Recommended for the players who already finished story mode. You know what? This series isn't over. No, absolutely not. We're doing the Spirits of the Amazonia because I want to know what happened beforehand. We're going to keep this going. We're going to see what happened before everything that just happened now. But thank you so much to everybody that's been joining me through the series. I really, really appreciate it. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't because there's a lot more to come. I'm going to come. Thank you so much again for sticking with me through the series. We got a lot more to go. And we'll see you, boop, next week. Bye-bye.